about why history was so barbaric, but if you go far back enough, the pyramids. Nobody builds something that big underground just for fun. Across the vast landscapes of China, a hidden chapter of human history unfolds, marked by enigmatic megastructures and unexcavated pyramids. These ancient relics, from towering stone blocks weighing thousands of tons to expansive underground cave networks. It's so funny that we, that on our planet, are all of these megastructures. Hint at a civilization of extraordinary sophistication and technological prowess. Yet this ancient society vanished without a trace, leaving behind only their monumental creations as silent witnesses to their once glorious existence. Join us as we delve into the enigmas of this advanced yet mysterious civilization, examining their surviving relics and piecing together the puzzle of their abrupt disappearance. Number 10, Longyu Caves. In the heart of Zhejiang Province, China, lie the Longyu Caves, a spectacular network of 24 man-made caverns. Discovered in 1992 by curious farmers who drained several ponds, the revelation of these ancient caves sparked immense curiosity and intrigue among historians and archaeologists alike. The Longyu Caves are colossal, each spanning over 1,000 square meters with ceilings that soar up to 30 meters high. Covering a total area exceeding 30,000 square meters, these caverns showcase an advanced level of ancient engineering. The surfaces of the ceilings, walls, and pillars are uniformly chiseled with parallel lines, indicating meticulous craftsmanship. Such precise work would have required an enormous workforce and countless hours, raising questions about the purpose and construction methods used by the ancient builders. Despite their grandeur, no historical records mention the creation of the Longyu Caves, leading to various theories about their purpose. Some suggest they were used as underground storage facilities, while others propose they were Taoist retreats for meditation. There are even speculations that they served as ancient quarries or military encampments. The truth, however, remains elusive, as no definitive evidence has been found to confirm any of these theories. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Longyu Caves is their remarkable preservation. Despite being over 2,000 years old, the caves have maintained their structural integrity, with no signs of collapse or significant damage. This durability can be attributed to the strategic use of silt soil, which compacts well and protects against water erosion. This natural barrier prevented surface runoff from damaging the caves, ensuring their survival through centuries of floods and other natural calamities. Inside the caves, archaeologists discovered glazed clay pots dating back to the Western Han Dynasty, suggesting human activity in the area around 200 BC to AD 25. However, the absence of construction tools or records adds to the mystery, leaving us to wonder how such a massive project was accomplished without leaving behind any trace of the methods or workforce involved. The layout and design of the caves also indicate a sophisticated understanding of engineering and environmental management. The caves are oriented to maximize sunlight, illuminating their interiors naturally. The inclined sidewalls reduce stress on the ceilings, preventing collapse. Another intriguing feature of the Longyu Caves is the uniform chiseling marks found on every surface. These parallel lines consistent throughout the caves raise questions about their purpose. Were they purely decorative or did they hold some symbolic significance? Similar markings have been found on pottery from the same era, suggesting a cultural or ritualistic connection. But without definitive evidence, their true meaning remains speculative. The discovery of the Longyu Caves also uncovered the mystery of why no fish or other aquatic life were found in the water that filled the caves for centuries. While other ponds in the region teem with life, the Longyu Caves were devoid of any. Number nine, the Guyaju Caves. Hidden within a valley near Dongmenying in the Yanking district of Beijing, the Guyaju Caves are a fascinating example of ancient cliff dwellings. These structures may have once served as a fortified community with origins that remain shrouded in mystery. The caves are believed to date back between 1,000 and 2,000 years, 
Though the exact timeline and the identity of their creators are still debated among historians and archaeologists. The Guyaju Caves complex consists of an impressive 350 chambers within 117 caves, making it the largest cliff-dwelling site found in China as of 2016. The site spans an area of one and a half square kilometers, with a cave covering an area of 3,931 square meters. The dwellings are packed closely together, sometimes on different levels of the same cliff face, giving the appearance of a multi-story building. One of the most intriguing features of the complex is the Chieftain's Palace, situated at the bottom of one of the rock faces. This elaborate residence includes eight rooms, supported by columns cut from the rock, suggesting it was designed for someone of high status within the community. The interiors of these caves are meticulously chiseled, featuring Kang bedstoves, flues, window holes, and lampstands. Even the roofs are designed with stone slots for collecting rainwater. The layout of the Guyaju Caves is particularly fascinating. The site is divided into two main parts, the front ditch and the back ditch, which run east to west. More than 10 meters of stone stairs connect the cave entrances to the ground, illustrating the extensive effort put into making these dwellings accessible. The rooms vary in size, with most measuring approximately 1.8 meters high and 4 square meters in area. The largest rooms expand to 2 meters in height, 3 meters in width, and 5.2 meters in length. The origins of the Guyaju Caves are a subject of much speculation. One theory suggests that the settlement was established by the Kumoshi tribe during the Liao dynasty. The Kumoshi were a Mongolic steppe people who had interactions with Chinese dynasties and the Khitan people. Another theory proposes that the caves were built by outlaws on the run, seeking refuge in the secluded valley. Yet another hypothesis is that the complex served as a military garrison during the Tang Dynasty, providing strategic defense capabilities. The discovery of the Guyaju Caves dates back to 1984 during a cultural relic survey conducted by the Yanking County Cultural Relics Administration. Despite this relatively recent discovery, there is no clear historical record of the occupants. The most widely accepted speculation about the occupants is that they were Kumoshi people who lived there from the Tang Dynasty to the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. However, there is debate about whether this tribe, who only lived in the area for around 30 years, could excavate such extensive cliff dwellings. In August 1991, the Guyaju Caves were officially open to the public, allowing visitors to explore this ancient marvel. In May 2013, the site was listed as a major historical and cultural site protected at the national level. Number 8. Yangshan Quarry Nestled near Nanjing, China, the Yangshan Quarry is home to the remnants of what was intended to be the world's largest stele. In 1405, the Yongle Emperor of the Ming Dynasty known for his grandiose projects, ordered the carving of a massive stele in honor of his father, the Hongwu Emperor. This ambitious project was set to create a stele in three enormous sections, the base, the body, and the head. If completed, the stele would have stood at an astounding 73 meters tall, that's over 240 feet, dwarfing any other stele in the world. The dimensions of the stele components are mind-boggling. The base alone measures 30 meters long, 13 meters thick, and 16 meters tall, weighing a staggering 16,250 metric tons. The body, which would have been the main upright section, was designed to be nearly 50 meters long, 10 meters wide, and over 4 meters thick, with an estimated weight of 8,799 tons. The head, intended to crown this colossal monument, measures over 10 meters in height and 20 meters in width, with a weight of 6,118 tons. Thousands of workers toiled under harsh conditions to carve these massive sections from the mountainside. According to legend, those who failed to meet the daily quota of crushed rock faced severe punishment, with many losing their lives in the process. This grueling labor led to the nearby village being named Fentu, or Grave Mound, in memory of the many who perished during the construction. Despite the immense effort, the project was ultimately abandoned. The engineers realized that moving the gargantuan pieces from the quarry to the intended site was impossible with the technology of the time. 
The logistical challenges of transporting the combined weight of over 31,000 tons were insurmountable. As a result, the stele remained in the quarry, partially carved, but never completed. The site also features various other fascinating carvings and structures that hint at the complex processes involved in such large-scale stonework. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Yangshan Quarry is the evidence of sophisticated stoneworking techniques. At the base of the massive stone block, you'll find large square holes that seem to have been crafted for hoisting and moving the block away from its original spot. These features suggest that the ancient builders had planned to transport it elsewhere. The craftsmanship seen at the quarry site is astonishingly advanced. The markings are sharp and clear, and the surfaces are smoothly finished, showcasing a level of sophistication that challenges our assumptions about ancient technology. The precise cuts and massive size of the blocks hint at a mastery of stonework that seems nearly impossible for the era's known civilizations. Moreover, the wear and tear on the stone suggest it's incredibly ancient, likely much older than the commonly believed 8,000 years. It appears the site was part of a larger complex, as evidenced by other massive structures nearby with perfectly square cavities, an impressive feat presumably beyond the simple bronze tools of the time. The exactness of the right angles and the detailed manner in which material was removed from these stones continue to baffle modern researchers. In addition to the unfinished stele, the quarry itself presents an array of curious features. For instance, some stones have protrusions and cylindrical segments removed in ways that seem purposeless for simple quarrying. These features suggest that the site might have had other significant uses or symbolic meanings, perhaps even serving as a ceremonial or ritual space. Number 7. Huashen Grottoes The Huashen Grottoes, also known as the Huashen Mysterious Grottoes, are an extraordinary series of ancient man-made caves located near the city of Huangshan in China's Anhui province. Discovered by accident in 2000 by a farmer, these grottoes quickly gained fame due to their size, mystery, and the sheer effort required to construct them. There are 36 grottoes in total, spread over an area of about one square kilometer. The grottoes vary in size, with some of the largest reaching heights of 20 meters and covering several thousand square meters. They are carved into quartzitic andesite rock, a type of rock that forms part of the middle Jurassic Hongqin Formation. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Huashan Grottoes is their mysterious origin. No historical records or inscriptions have been found to indicate who built these caves or why they were constructed. This has led to numerous theories about their purpose, ranging from ancient quarries and military encampments to places of worship or storage facilities. The grotto's construction showcases advanced engineering skills. The interiors of the caves feature smooth, straight walls and ceilings, with no signs of tool marks or incomplete sections, suggesting a highly organized construction process. The caves are oriented to maximize natural light, with many of them aligned to capture sunlight at specific times of the day. This strategic design not only illuminates the interiors, but also helps maintain the structural integrity of the caves. Adding to the enigma, the caves contain no visible carvings or murals. Unlike other famous grottoes in China, such as the Mogao Caves or the Yungang Grottoes. However, their precise and symmetrical design, along with the sheer volume of rock removed, estimated to be over 1 million cubic meters, suggests that they held significant importance to their builders. One notable feature is the lack of any debris or rock fragments within the caves, raising questions about where the excavated material was taken. This detail, coupled with the absence of any historical documentation, has fueled speculation and intrigue among archaeologists and historians. Today, the Huashan Grottoes are a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors with their blend of natural beauty and historical mystery. Several of the grottoes have been developed for tourism, including pathways, lighting, and interpretative signage to help visitors appreciate the scale and craftsmanship of these ancient structures. Number six, Chinese pyramids. In the heart of China's vast landscapes, hidden beneath centuries of soil and vegetation, lies one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world, the Chinese pyramids. Scattered primarily across the Shanxi province, 
These monumental structures are enigmas wrapped in the tapestry of China's rich history. The existence of over 200 pyramids in China is a fact that baffles many. These structures, shrouded not only by their physical location, but also by the layers of government restrictions, have intrigued and mystified historians and archaeologists alike. The Chinese government has imposed severe limits on excavations and even on visiting these sites. Local farmers living in proximity to these ancient pyramids have been encouraged to plant trees on them, further concealing their presence. The Western world first heard of these structures back in 1912 through a travel agent named Fred Meyer Schroeder. He reported massive pyramids existing in the heartlands of China. However, it wasn't until the Second World War that these structures caught the world's attention. An American pilot named James Gaussman flew over the region, capturing the first photographs of these pyramids from the air. With the advancement of satellite technology, we've been able to grasp the true extent and number of these structures. Mirroring the pyramids found in other parts of the world, the Chinese pyramids are precisely aligned with Earth's cardinal directions. Interestingly, they show a slight deviation from the Gemini constellation, aligning almost exactly during the spring equinox several millennia ago, a deviation explainable by the axial precession of the Earth. This astronomical alignment suggests that these pyramids could be tens of thousands of years old. Moreover, when you examine the layout of the pyramid complexes globally, Teotihuacan in Mexico, the Giza complex in Egypt, and Xi'an in China, there's an uncanny resemblance. All are structured similarly and align almost perfectly with the Orion constellation. This architectural and astronomical alignment spanning continents and millennia raises profound questions about the interconnectedness of these ancient civilizations. The largest among these, known as the Great White Pyramid located in the Valley of Shanxi Province, stands as a testament to ancient engineering prowess, towering at about 1,000 feet, making it twice the size of Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. Its construction would have required an estimated 50 million tons of stone. Interestingly, the source of this massive quantity of stone remains a mystery, as does the purpose and the builders of these colossal structures. Another fascinating site is the Terracotta Army, discovered in 1974 by local farmers. This site not only features over 8,000 meticulously crafted soldiers, but also lies at the edge of a massive, unexcavated pyramid. The Terracotta Army forms part of a larger necropolis intended to protect Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife, mimicking the urban plan of the capital city. This underground mausoleum is believed to house a chamber beneath the emperor's burial mound, filled with a miniature cosmic model. The ceiling of this chamber is said to represent the night sky, adorned with pearls as stars, while the ground is designed to mimic the landscape of China, with flowing mercury symbolizing the rivers. The elaborate protections of this tomb, including mechanical traps such as arrow firing devices, suggest the significance and the sanctity of what lies within. The architectural resemblance of these pyramids to those in Egypt and South America poses a tantalizing question. Were these structures independently conceived, or do they reflect a deeper, perhaps global, architectural tradition among ancient civilizations? Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Around the world, ancient prehistoric megastructures showcase the extraordinary technological prowess and stonemasonry skills of early civilizations, which continue to amaze archaeologists. A prime example is the Yangshan Quarry in Nanjing, China. This site reveals the ambitious scope of ancient engineering through its monumental stone blocks, part of an intended colossal stele that was never completed. These blocks display a craftsmanship so precise, with clean, straight grooves and exact shaping, that they seem beyond the capabilities of their time. The presence of vast, flat walls in the quarry, left behind after the stones were extracted, prompts significant questions about the logistics and methods used in their creation and transportation. The precision involved suggests that the quarry workers had not only the expertise necessary to extract such massive stones, but possibly the technology to move them, a feat that remains a mystery even today. What are your thoughts on these enigmatic constructions? Could there be forgotten advanced technologies? Or is there another explanation for these impressive feats? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Sangxing Dewey Walls and Pits Sangxing Dewey is one of the most fascinating archaeological discoveries in China. 
offering a glimpse into an ancient civilization that thrived around 3,000 years ago. Situated in Sichuan province, this site is renowned for its massive walls and intriguing sacrificial pits, which have revealed thousands of rare artifacts. The Sanxingdui site spans approximately 12 square kilometers and dates back to the Bronze Age, around 1200 BC. It features a complex layout divided into residential, industrial, and religious districts, all organized around a central axis. Surrounding the city were canals, 20 to 25 meters wide, and two to three meters deep, serving multiple purposes such as irrigation, defense, and flood control. One of the most captivating aspects of Sanxing Dui is its sacrificial pits. Discovered in 1986, the first two pits uncovered over 1,000 artifacts, including larger bronze masks, jade objects, and gold items. These pits are believed to have been used for ritual sacrifices, with the artifacts broken or burned before being carefully buried. In recent years, further excavations have unearthed additional pits, revealing a treasure trove of artifacts. Between 2019 and 2023, six more pits were discovered, significantly expanding our understanding of the Sangxingdui culture. These new pits have yielded nearly 10,000 cultural relics, including bronze statues, jade objects, and intricately crafted gold masks. Pit number eight, the largest of these new discoveries, measures 5.1 meters in length and 3.8 meters in width, covering an area of almost 20 square meters. This pit contained numerous bronze vessels and ivory items, showcasing the site's extensive trade networks and the value placed on these materials by the Sanxing Dui people. The artifacts found at Sanxing Dui are unlike any others discovered in China, reflecting a unique artistic style. The large bronze masks, for example, feature exaggerated facial features, such as knife-shaped eyebrows, protruding eyes, and large ears. These masks are thought to represent gods or ancestors. One of the most remarkable finds is a bronze head with a gold mask unearthed from one of the pits. This artifact, weighing approximately 280 grams, is made from a gold-silver alloy and is believed to be the largest and heaviest of its kind from the Shang and Zhou dynasties. The craftsmanship and materials used in these artifacts indicate a high level of metallurgical skill and access to precious resources. Sanxing Dui's walls are equally impressive. These structures were built using timber-framed adobe, forming large rectangular halls and meeting spaces. The largest of these halls covered an area of about 200 square meters. Number 4. Heijin City Fortress Heijin City Fortress, also known as Longmen Fortress, is an ancient fortification located in Heijin City, Shanxi Province, China. This fortress is a marvel of historical military architecture, strategically perched on a lofty lowest slope and cleverly concealed by deep gorges, making it nearly invisible to the untrained eye. The fortress dates back to the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644 and was meticulously constructed to withstand both the ravages of time and the perils of warfare. The imposing walls of the Heijin City Fortress are crafted from rammed earth and fortified with bricks and stones. These walls stretch across the landscape, forming an impregnable barrier against potential invaders. The fortress's strategic design includes a single narrow entrance, creating a choke point that could easily be defended against attackers. This classic defensive tactic is a hallmark of ancient military architecture designed to maximize the defensive capabilities of the structure. Inside the fortress, the remains of a doorway carved into the cliffside give the appearance of a floating entrance, adding to the site's mystique. Historically, this doorway connected to the ground below, but erosion has since created its current, more dramatic appearance. The rock shelters within the fortress provided refuge and storage for food and livestock, essential for the local population during sieges or attacks. The fortress's location on the banks of the Yellow River likely influenced its strategic importance throughout history. The name Heijin translates to River Ford, highlighting its historical significance as a crossing point. The fortress served as a refuge against various threats, including bandits, and in later years, Japanese forces during times of conflict. Despite its historical significance, the fortress remains relatively unexplored by formal archaeological studies. Local legends and oral histories suggest that the fortress might have been used as a community shelter during periods of warfare, housing both people and their livestock. These stories, along with the fortress's design and construction techniques, indicate it was a significant military site in ancient China. Number 3. Mogao Caves 
Tucked away in the arid desert landscape of Gansu Province, southeast of the Dunhuang Oasis, the Mogao Caves form an extraordinary complex known as the Thousand Buddha Grottoes. This monumental site encapsulates the pinnacle of Buddhist art, spanning from the 4th to the 14th century, with a treasure trove of artifacts that illuminate the rich tapestry of medieval Asian culture. The Mogao Caves, also referred to as the Caves of Dunhuang, are celebrated for their artistic, religious, and cultural significance. They house an impressive collection of over 2,000 painted sculptures and roughly 45 square meters of murals. Preserved across 492 caves, these artifacts not only depict religious scenes but also offer a glimpse into the daily life, political environment, and economic conditions of the period. Notably, the caves serve as a record of the intense cultural exchanges along the Silk Road. For instance, Cave 302 from the Sui Dynasty vividly captures scenes of trade missions, complete with depictions of camels pulling carts. Other caves, like Caves 23 and 156 from the Tang Dynasty, showcase daily agricultural life and rows of warriors, respectively, while Cave 61 from the Song Dynasty presents a detailed artistic map of Mount Wutai, highlighting the advanced cartographic skills of the era. One of the most pivotal discoveries at Mogao was the so-called Library Cave, uncovered in 1900. This cave was found to contain a hidden trove of tens of thousands of manuscripts and relics, including the Diamond Sutra, the world's oldest known printed book. The contents of this cave have been dispersed globally and now reside in various international collections, providing invaluable insight into the history of ancient China and Central Asia. Today, the Mogao Caves are recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to their unparalleled historical and cultural value. The site is carefully managed to preserve its fragile artworks, with restrictions on the number of visitors to prevent damage. Number two, Liangzhu city walls and platforms. Nestled in the Yangtze River Basin near Hangzhou, Zhejiang Province, the Liangzhu city walls and platforms represent one of the most significant prehistoric megastructures in China, dating back to between 3,300 BCE and 2,300 BCE. This ancient city, spanning over 2.9 million square meters, showcases the remarkable achievements of the Liangzhu culture in urban planning, architecture, and social organization. The city is characterized by its distinctive earthen walls, which stretch approximately 6,000 meters. These walls, up to four meters high in some places, provided formidable protection and delineated the inner city from the outer regions. Within these walls, the city was divided into different functional areas. These walls, up to four meters high in some places, provided formidable protection and delineated the inner city from the outer regions. Within these walls, the city was divided into different functional areas, the palace area, the inner city, and the outer city. At the heart of Liangzhu lies the palace area. This central platform is the highest point within the city, serving as the residence and ceremonial center for the ruling elite. Archaeological evidence shows that this area contained numerous structures, including 35 house foundations and significant quantities of carbonized rice, indicating its role as a hub for both governance and daily life. The inner city, encircled by the main city walls, contained over 20 human-made platforms and interleaved riverbeds, which likely supported various public and residential functions. One of the most impressive features of Liangzhu is its advanced water conservation system, covering an area of 76.2 hectares. This system included a network of high and low dams, causeways, and natural spillways, which managed flood control, irrigation, and water transport. It is considered one of the earliest large-scale water management systems in the world, reflecting the sophisticated engineering skills of the Liangzhu people. The city also contains numerous cemeteries, reflecting a highly stratified society. These cemeteries, such as those at Yao Mountain and Fan Mountain, contained elaborate jade artifacts, pottery, and stone tools. In recognition of its historical importance, the archaeological ruins of Liangzhu City were inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2019. Number 1. Shimao City Ruins Deep in the heart of Shanxi Province, China, the Shimao City Ruins stretch across 4 million square meters, forming one of the most astounding prehistoric megastructures unearthed in recent decades. Discovered in Shenmu City, this ancient site, 
dating back to approximately 2300 BCE, once served as a central settlement and regional political hub during the late Longshan culture period. These carvings likely imbued the structure with a sacred aura, enhancing its imposing presence over the city and its large audience. The pyramid's top housed extensive palaces built from rammed earth, complete with wooden pillars and roofing tiles. This area wasn't just a residence for the elite, it was a bustling center for art and craft production. The city's design showcases sophisticated urban planning unparalleled in its time. Shimao was encircled by a series of stone walls, equipped with ramparts and strategic gates, indicating advanced defensive capabilities. These walls weren't merely functional, they were thought to have religious significance, possibly due to the insertion of jade artifacts within their construction, a practice believed to confer spiritual protection and power to the city itself. Beyond the walls, Shimao was a hive of activity. The city thrived for five centuries, evidencing its importance and sustainability before its abandonment during the Zhe Dynasty, around 2100 BCE to 1600 BCE. Archaeological excavations have revealed the grim aspect of human sacrifices. Recognized among the top 10 archaeological discoveries of the past decade, Shimao continues to captivate archaeologists and historians worldwide, promising further insights as excavations and research continue. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.